G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today I'm back out on the Bill Bowman track and this time I'm walking to the Boar Creek Shelter. It's only a 2.6 kilometer walk so it's not going to be that bad today I hope. Weather's cooler. I've been into work this morning and I've got about three hours spare before I start my next job of the day so I thought I'd sneak in a nice little walk and hang the hammock. What I have done today is swap the basher for the DD multicam tarp which is a 3 meter by 3 meter tarp and I'll give that a go over the goshawk hammock in the diamond formation and I want to see if I can actually peg it out to the same pegs I use on the pullouts for the hammock so I'll only need to use two pegs and if that works it'll make it a lot easier I was just beginning to feel sore around my waist and I hadn't realised when I put my pack on I twisted my waist belt or my hip belt so now I've straightened it it's a lot more comfortable today it's beautiful out here even though it's a bit windy today it's still really nice That's halfway to the shelter. See, 1.3 kilometers back to the Hills Forest, it says there, uh, which is the um, Discovery Center. So we've got another 1.3 kilometers in that direction until we get to the shelter.
we're about 1.5 kilometers into the walk now and we've made it to the top of the ridge so most of this now is either going to be level or downhill it's nice gentle incline and decline on this section so it is a nice walk if you want to just park your car down at the discovery center and walk down to the shelter have a little picnic have a little nap and take a walk back it's a nice way of uh, using up a couple of hours of your time in a day I personally think it's a lot nicer to do this and walk around the shop so perfect for me Don't forget your water. Always remember to uh, sign into the track and trails logbook whether you're doing a through hike or end to end or just a day walk out and back. In case anything ever happens, they've got a record where you were last time and where you come from and where you're heading. First thing I'm going to do is get my pack up off the ground.
piece too big for this one. Let's make a new one. my midline up ready for my tarp. Next, hammock straps. And that's off the trees already. Straps and walkie slings, and now the hammock. And this is the Goshawk hammock on tier gear. Now you've got the loop on there, continuous loop. Hook onto the uh, walkie sling with the walkie hook. Up the continuous loop from the other end. Grab the walkie up and do my best not to let the hammock touch the floor. I'll apply from the walkie screen. One thing there. Now you can either, either take this double ended stuff sack off or like I'm doing just leave it on the end here and if need be you can use it for storing whatever you want you can put your shoes in there if your feet are small enough. Now a couple of stakes for the pull outs and like I said, hopefully this will work with the tarp also. Now the tarp. What I brought with me today are two plastic espinas. I think I got a pack of uh, 10 of them for about $5 off one of the 
cheap channels. I like the uh, the Wish and AliExpress or something, one of them. And I'm going to connect them to my uh, preset nuts on the ridge line and onto the tarp. So they should be strong enough to hold that. They're not weight bearing, so don't use them for your hammock or for climbing. There you go. Here's the double ended stuff sack. And I'm not going to lose it. There you go, it covers a whole hammock. And I use the same peg as the pull out points for the hammock with the tarp. I had to adjust the one on the opposite side as you saw or heard to make it work. Let us show you inside. Now in this diamond configuration with the A-frame style of just pulling the corners down. There's a bit of a squeeze to get in, but there's still a room to be able to. And once you're in, it is away from my head. So it's being blown in with the wind. But it's still far enough away that it's not going to affect the hammock. And if I was wanted, wanted to make more space in here, I could always get another two pegs and just peg it out further, which would lift that up higher. But for uh, a wet weather in the bush, a set up, uh, I believe, it will work really well. I like that. Plenty of room. Give it some great shade. When we did this last time, we were using the basher. This point of the hammock, on the other side that is, was sticking right past the edge of this. So this 3x3 three three tarp covers it nice and easy with room to spare. And if you're wondering why, I put the tarp over the ridge line, not under it. It's because let's find them. I have three preset knots here, which enables me to hang stuff from. So I can just move that across here if I want to, and just tie my laces of my boot through there, and hang my boots or my shoes from there. So it's off the ground and give them a chance to dry. So there it is, the Goswalk hammock. Completely covered by the DD Multicam.
start. Now while I've got a chance, I'm going to have a lay down and see if I can get half an hour's nap. But this time I'm going to set my phone just in case I don't wake up. Shoes off this time. So again, I'll go over to the shelter, I'll have some water and then I'll head off. I've got about two and a half litres of uh, fresh water left, so I'll take a drink of this. I'm happy with that setup. The Gosshawk hammock and the DD 3x3 multi cam tarp. If I had my walking poles on me, I could have lifted both of them in points up or raised two at the front and still pegged out the one. Well, I could have been looking for a couple of larger sticks and done it today. But today I was just about to see how well the 3x3 tarp from DD actually uh, covered the Gosshawk hammock. I still had a gentle breeze coming underneath. Uh, it still worked well in the winter. There was a good 6-8 inches above the hammock before I got into it uh, between a hammock ridge line and the tarp. So like I said that could have been lowered. So that would make it a lot warmer and keep you drier and reduce the actual breeze going underneath with it being lower. So yeah, I'm pleased. What I might do is bring out the Abasha Hoochie Hoochie and with the Torrid Hammock and see how they work. They should, should work pretty well so we'll give them a go but I'll keep setting up this first before I get to there ready for the next time I go out because I'm planning a overnighter 
up to the top of uh, Benewing Hill or Benewing Hill and I want to do some an overnight there and I want to do some filming of the beautiful sunsets and the sunrises we get here in Western Australia and they should look spectacular from the top of Benewing Hill Yeah, I'm nearly back in my car again, so I hope you've all enjoyed the video. And if you're new to my channel, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. And also click on the notification bell next to it. And the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, I thank you very much. And you can click on that like button too. <laughs> okay, until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.